Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Chris. We are back here for game three of the series at Florida State. We only have a few games left in the regular season. We won the first two games of this series. Very happy about that. Hit the like button if you like how this season is going. Number one ranked team in the country. And also be sure to subscribe. It's a huge help. And we need all the support we can get heading into these final games into the postseason of this 2020 season. I can't believe it's coming to a close. We're doing well. We've got all of our top guys playing pretty well right now. Tony Jenkins has been hot. Freddie Zamora looking to win National Player of the Year. Happy about that. And so just a reminder, this is the second game of a doubleheader. We won the first game 12 o'clock start. This one's starting at 4 o'clock. Had that rain out on Sunday. Both of these games are on Monday here in Tallahassee. It won't lose you many either. And again, just a reminder, we're playing without Jordan Lala, season-ending knee injury. So I moved Zamora up to the two spot in the order. Tough ground out there. we got Slade Sacconi on the mound. Happy about that. Look at the lineup. Guys, I feel pretty good. Again, once again, it's those guys that are top-level guys having really solid seasons. Oh, that's disappointing for Del Castillo. Okay. Nothing going in the top of the first, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Slade's having a good year. Again, first round draft pick for the Arizona Diamondbacks. And he's only a sophomore, so in the game, he'll be back. They don't do draft eligible sophomores. But as this season's winding down, it is, I am starting to look ahead to 2021. We've got a number of juniors and a number of juniors playing well. And I feel like a number of them, that's a nice, nice, nice catch there by Tuero. But I feel like a number of them can leave after this season. And I feel like in the real 2020 season, if it played out, I think all the junior, almost all those juniors were going to head and get drafted if there was a 40-round draft. I even think, guy, you know, you're, you're talking about your main players. Obviously, Zamora goes second round, but I think Terrell gets drafted. I think Raymond Gill. I think, I think there's even chance for Gabe Rivera to have a good season. Tony Jenkins, again, 40-round draft. Those guys are juniors, potential draft picks as well. So I think it would have been very interesting to see how it played out, but I think Miami would have had a really good season, so you just kind of take it for what it is, and, and that's how I feel about this season, guys. Having a really good year. A number of guys playing well. Alex Terrell, too. I was pressing early in the year, wanting to get a bunch of home runs with them. But what happened was, now he's settled in. I have some home runs. I think he has nine you know, I would have loved to have been like closer to that 15 to 20 range, and still we've got plenty of games to go with the postseason. ACC tournament, NCAA tournament. Okay, we need to get some hits, guys. But definitely, he settled in, Terrell settled in with his batting average right around 360. We'll take that, and he's getting some doubles and RBIs. Okay. After one and a half, it's scoreless. So yeah, not much going for the Hurricanes right now. Grounded to the first baseman, and one gone. Slate's pitching well, too. So, again, just a reminder. So, we finished Nobody this game. And one gone, we get through this game, and then we got three against Georgia Tech. They're ranked like 10th in the country. Two against Wake Forest, and that's it for the regular the season. Then we go to ACC tournament. Then we go to the NCAA tournament, and then we go to College World Series. Hopefully, that's the plan. And I want to keep baseman. these things going. The throw across the that's why I need everybody's support. Hitting that like button. Number Dropping in on the comments. In. I know, Matt, you're always chiming in. Diehard Hurricane it's fan for sure. Right. Loving the baseball team. And if you guys check out InsideTheU.com, my website, I've been putting some baseball articles out as well and plan to do more in the future. Okay, that one got away from me there.
And yeah, just looking at some of the the national award type stuff or just kind of where we're at. It looks like, unless things completely fall apart, looks like we'll be the number one national seed. We might, you know, maybe we lose in the ACC tournament or maybe we drop one of these games late, maybe this one. But regardless, the number two team, which I find to be really fun and interesting, is the Hawaii Warriors. So that's a lot of fun just to see a new team in there. And they're actually, I was looking, their best player is who Freddie Zamora's main competition is for National Player of the Year. Second baseman, having a really good year. Home runs, RBIs, stolen bases, so. Fly ball to right field. One away in the inning. But it's definitely cool to see. But I think they've got like seven or eight losses, eight, maybe nine losses. And we're at four, so we have... It feels it's like we've got a little bit of room, but again, I want to keep winning for sure. And regardless of where we are on the national seed, as long as we're one of those top teams, which we are, we'll be fine. So, there we go. Again, I, JP Gates up to bat. I definitely want to get him going. Man, that's tough. That's solid contact. I would love for that to stretch out to opposite field double. But instead, it's just a fly out. All right, Jenkins, here we go. Oh, that's tough. Tough pitch. Couldn't do anything with that one. High and inside. Fastball running in on the hands. But that's okay. We got it. We got on base. Just have to stay grinding with this thing. Over to first. That's in time for the out. Batting first, here's the junior center fielder, number 23. Man, this guy's been really tough. With four homers and 16 runs batted in. So yeah, the ACC tournament's going to be interesting. In foul ground. We definitely want to win that. And really, everything's pretty solid, guys. There's not a lot of controversy in terms of decisions to make. With what I want to do in the postseason, the way I'm looking at it right now, with our with our lineup, it's pretty much set. Set with Lala goes out, and so we've got a spot in the outfield. Hit out to left and the out. Valdez has been the best one. Um, Right-handed batter with some power, but I can go Tuero, who's playing today, and right field left-handed batter. Not as much pop, but he gets on base. A little bit more, or he has more speed. There we go. It's a shallow right. He's on with so I ha that's really about it. DH, the Gates thing, you know, with I'm doing, I'm getting him in there, even though he's not very productive right now. And I'll, I'll play that out the rest of the regular season just to get him hopefully happy. Be great if he was hitting the ball too, but playing time was the big thing. And then we'll just make that decision as it goes on. I think the way I look at it, even ACC tournament, I'm okay with getting him in there. But once it once it becomes NCAA tournament type stuff, when it really matters, we got to go with our best guys. We can't worry about who's happy or not. Number 31 is 0 for 1 today. Ground ball up the middle, and it's a diving catch. Nice One play go. by Anthony Villar. That was great. Great to see. And Villar has been solid. I don't talk about him enough. He doesn't have the home run numbers. Ground ball on the or even about it. He's not. He's the been very solid for us. I've kind of made some moves with putting other guys in at second, just because we've got some other options to get in there. But he's been pretty solid all year. I've been happy with Villar. Again, a sophomore who will be back. If we just think about our team, so of the juniors around the diamond, so go Terrell at first, a junior. Villar, a sophomore. Zamora, a junior, expecting. Yeah, I think both those guys could go. And then Raymond Gill, a junior. I think we will lose him as well. I would guess. I don't know how the draft's going to work in this game. We'll wait and see. And obviously, if we have a chance to persuade people, we'll do that for sure. 
There's been some college games where you can persuade players to come back and stay on the squad. If we have that option, we'll do that. We want everybody back. Just like we don't want Gates to transfer. Okay, guys. I can't believe what's going on here. I'm, I'm talking. I'm trying to play. But we are already in the fifth inning. No score. We barely have any hits. There's Valar. Oh, my goodness. This is just quick work game here. This game is flying by. Okay, guys. Oh, my goodness. Struggling here. Maybe guys are a little tired from the doubleheader. I don't know what it is. I'm ready to go, though. And again, looking at the rest of the squad, sophomore, catcher, Del Adrian Del Castillo, so he'll be back. Happy about that. And then in the outfield, we've got Tony Jenkins, a junior in center field, having a really good year for us. I just think if they're draft eligible and they have good years, we definitely have a chance of losing them. So Jenkins would be a guy. So then, in left field, we have Lala, who's a sophomore, so he'll be back. In right field, we have Gabe Rivera, a junior. He's, of the juniors, he's having the least productive season. Still good, so maybe if you're looking at who would be the most likely junior to come back amongst our guys, he would be the guy. There we go. Sacconi dealing, I like it. And then of the pitchers, Van Bell's a senior starting pitcher. This one's hit to short. Looks like One, he's going to win three. ACC Pitcher the of the Year. Maybe National After Pitcher time. of the Year. Happy about that. Low ERA, high wins. It's a good combination. Doesn't have the strikeouts the other candidates have. So I'm banking on the There's ERA and wins thing. Then we have McMahon, a junior. Having a good year. I think he's 8-1 and one or 9-1. and one. ERA round three, so solid, really good year too, but not not quite like Van Bell. Okay, guys, we need to get some hits. I'm a little nervous at the scoreless tie here. Here in the sixth inning, what are we doing? I don't, I can't think of too many games where we've been in the sixth inning without a run. I promise you, I'm focused on 2020. I'm, I promise, I'm focused on this sweep of the Seminoles. But I am talking about thinking about the future. You have to think about the future when you're doing these dynasties. When you're trying to build, and that's how it is for, you know, with real teams. They're always looking at the current situation, the current game, and thinking about the future. And oftentimes with baseball, it's like two steps ahead because you're worried about, the, you're thinking about the draft, and recruits commit a lot earlier in the process than other sports. You know, they've got. You know, Miami's got a 2024 commit. Fouled out of play down the right field side. And I know, I, and I'm sure they have all the other ones too. I just definitely know they've got 2024. I know they have close to 10 2022s. Okay, this isn't what we wanted here. They got a guy in scoring position. And there's nobody out. The with nobody out here. Down, but doesn't have a play. We've got to lock in. Man, Reese Albert, he's just been really good in this series. Really good player. We've had a really big struggle against him. There we go. And somehow we've been able to get Robbie Martin out pretty easily here. Okay, one out. Got to be smart with my pitches here. And then the rest of the pitchers... Fetterman, our closer, is a junior, so I guess there's a p potential there because his, he's having a good season. Ground ball of the so having Slade back will be fun. On to first. Flips it to first for the out. Obviously, Miami's not expected to have him back. Maybe he's already signed. I haven't checked, but I know McMahon has already signed his contract. Okay, Slade. We give up a run there. That one hurts. Oh, we definitely could have used that. So 1-0 here. Okay. Simmons is their freshman. I've talked about him. 
Cannot let another base hit here. Got to keep the deficit to one run. We swept the Gators earlier this year. We got to sweep the Seminoles. Okay, there's the pop out. Get there, Rivera. Oh, no. They're home. Oh, my goodness. Just outfitters playing back. We couldn't get that, that bloop there. Okay, 2 0. It's killing me. And I don't even feel like I don't even. I feel fine at the plate, guys. Like, I. You know, some games I'm struggling, and obviously I don't have runs, not enough hits, but some sometimes pitchers are just, I don't see it right. Swing Timing's just a little off for whatever reason. Just sometimes. And there's certain at-bats I wish I could have back in this one, but. Get there. There we go. Okay, down 2-0 through 6. Only two hits. We've got to pick that up. This would be a great spot here with our Del Castillo, Terrell, and Gill. This, all hits. Let's go, guys. We need that to drop. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm not pressing, but I know we got to get hits. Okay, we got lefties coming up with Albert. All right, Terrell, let's go. We got to get Nobody base hits here. Base and one gone. At the up at Man, the this guy, he just has my number here. We are struggling. Okay, let's go. There we go. It's a base hit. We'll take it. Everybody hits. That's what we need. There we go. Everybody hits. And usually, like, the lefties have been giving me the most trouble all season long. We have so many good left-handed batters. It's tough to on that lefty-lefty matchup. But the right-handed pitchers, I usually do okay with. I don't want to press here, but I definitely need a base hit. There we go, another base hit. We gotta stay at third though, we gotta stay at third. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted. Oh, Anthony Villar, that's crazy. Okay, we gotta go home. Get home, get down, get down, get down. There we go. I thought that was going to be like one of those line outs that typically happens when you hit it like that, but that's a base hit. That's huge. Tied the game at two. Let's go. There's a ground ball towards second base. Two gone. Over to first. Well, that excitement went out the window real quick with that double play, but that's okay. We got that. We got that two run single by Villar. We tied the game up here. Both teams, two runs, six hits. Got to stay locked in here. Breaking pitch hit toward third. Over to first. There we go. Out of there. Action in the bullpen as they'll get a right hand. Yeah, definitely could. Uh, I'd definitely be okay with that if they go to the bullpen. The sophomore will have an opportunity. Swung and I was talking about postseason stuff with our hitters. Like the lineup's pretty much set for the most part. Other than the right field thing and DH. We'll figure that out. Probably on a... Oh, get there. That's why I like Tuero in right field. Valdez doesn't have that kind of speed, so that that's definitely a huge help there. i got to think about that too. And that might be the option just because we've got so many bats that we can kind of compromise having one out in Valdez. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But what I want to talk about is the pitching. Get on the ground of the second baseman. Assuming all of our starters stay healthy, our three starting pitchers will be our guys. There's not really a there's not a controversy. There's not a decision to make with the three starting pitchers. In the bullpen is pretty much I know who our guys are. 
McFarland's our top pitcher out of the bullpen, other than Fetterman, the closer. Okay, there we go. We'll take him out. We got to make sure we're, we're okay here. It's a nice hit for Gates, but we got it. Let's go Crosby here. The 81 speed. I want to steal second, get in scoring position. The Hurricanes are making a substitute. They might know I'm doing that, but that's okay. Runner goes. Got to get down. Ooh, that was close. Got in there though. Again, I don't want to steal third, even though I feel like I could. There's okay, get over to third. The that's in time for the out. All right, Freddie, 0 for three. This would be big. In eighth inning, this would be huge. The ball hit okay, that might right. that's going to work, guys. That's going to be a sack fly. Makes the grab we got good speed. That's two. too deep. The there we go. We got that lead. Eighth inning lead. This is exactly in. what we need it's for the postseason. The ability to come back late in games and grind it out. I'm not expecting games to be 10 to 1. Drop on that ball. It's down low. So this is good for us. And even though we've got a ton of wins this year, there's been some games where we've had to come back and win. I know we, I feel like there's probably three or four, maybe five games we've won in extra innings. I know there's been games, I keep bringing it up, but there was two straight games where we were down by four going into the seventh inning. Won those games, so we've definitely had some close ones. Even though we do, we are piling up the wins. And I feel like what I've noticed is with this game, what I've noticed with the game is the weaker teams typically don't give you too much trouble. It's those good teams that you can see that they can threaten, and that's what happens in the tournament. You're facing much better teams, so we will be ready. Ooh, I was hoping that'd go straight to center field wall. Do that again. I want to add on big time here. This would be huge. Raymond Gill, this would be huge. We've got to get a big hit here. I would love a big hit. Oh, that's not it. I was hoping you throw a fastball fat over the plate, but that's okay. We got that 3-2 to two lead. They got Albert going here. Let's go ahead and make that switch, the lefty matchups. The Hurricanes are making a substitution. Number 14 is going. Just looking at defense here. Surprisingly, Rivera is really. His fielding and range is really high. Yeah, much better than Torero, actually. I was thinking about making that move, but. Just good to know. Not much, yeah. I can't do that move to put Crosby in right. I mean, I could, but I lose the DH, so I don't want to do that. Especially in a close game. But the only thing is you're going to your bullpen, so when the pitcher spot comes up, you'd play it essentially like a National League team and take your pitcher out whenever they come up and go with pinch hitters but I don't want to deal with that right now we're okay just something to keep in mind he moving forward to make the catch. Are you kidding? Two gone. Swing and a miss but I do think the thing ball. about the postseason too is that bullpen Palmquist is our top lefty out of the bullpen. Fetterman's a closer. McFarland's a top righty. But after that, it's very interesting. I Tyler Kaiser has struggled earlier in the year. And then lately, he's been pretty good. I've been pretty good with him. So I have a little bit more confidence in him, a right-handed pitcher that I could go to as well. He's probably next after the three I just mentioned. But Anz is another lefty that I could go to, and definitely a lefty specialist. I don't want him against righties in the postseason. Man, that's got to be a – I need to catch that. Maybe I should have done that. 
the defensive change there. Man, this guy's not very big. Okay, he's probably got a lot of speed. All right, here we go. And then the other thing is, because Maori and Garland is there. Those are another righties. Garland's ERA is getting high. It's a pitch out. I didn't want to do that. I was trying to do a pickoff. I thought I hit the pickoff button, but evidently it was pitch out. We don't want to give up. Two gone. Balls here. Swing and a miss on the hook. Low and away. But not a really deep bullpen, but that's okay because we our starters typically go six, seven innings every game. So unless that changes, we should be fine. And, I, and, and in this game, it's a little surprising how it works. Okay, we've got to get out of this. Okay, that's good. Got to get out of this jam here. Oh, they're not close yet. Okay. I just need one more out. I like Carson's slider. That works out well. It's much better than his curveball on this game. Sometimes I like throwing that lefty curve, but, but man, I know that he's he's been hit with it too. All right, we got to get out of this. This is the type of tournament type of game that will happen in tournament. We've got to get there, Rivera. There we go. Making me nervous out there. We definitely need to think about having some speed. But he's got like, I don't know. I think he's got the same speed as Crosby. I, I don't know. So he just started out far back. But regardless, we got out of that jam. We're through eight. Got some bats coming up here. Six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and add an insurance run. Let's get Fetterman ready to go, though. Definitely would like to scratch across a run here. Okay, that's not going to do it. Maybe it'll drop. No. Man, I am getting excited for this postseason talk. We've got to get through these, though. we got to get this sweep. That's what I'm definitely excited about. Base hit, that's what we need. Man, and your guys' support has been so helpful through this. It's been a lot of fun. It's certainly a grind playing this many games. But now it's been fun, but now it's going to get really fun. It's Road to the College World Series, and we're getting so close to those next few steps. Had a few options here. I do like to, I like the bench. We I, I just don't think we'll have to use it too much. Crosby's going to be big in postseason because of his speed, so I can go pinch run with him and get stolen bases. If Tuero's on the bench, his speed's okay. It's like 73, I think. It's not great, but it's better than some guys. So he's the potential pinch run candidate. Number 36 is on with the single. Okay, this would be huge. We got to get a base hit here. Tony Jenkins, 0 for 4. We got to get a base hit. There we go. Hit the shallow right. Okay, bases loaded. This is what I needed to do. All right, Freddie, bases loaded. Show why you're the National Player of the Year. Let's go. You get that? Yes, a grand slam. That's what we needed, Freddie Zamora. National Player of the Year. I promise we are going to make it happen. Let's do it. Bases Grand juice Slam, Bases Juice at Florida State. It right there. Ball. A home run by Freddie Zamora. That's what, exactly what we needed. First hit of the That's day. The Couldn't the have game. come at a better time. Now I definitely feel confident that we're going to get this win. Got this nice lead. Those are some huge insurance runs. Coach is on his way out to the mat. He needs to settle his pitcher down. Yeah, his get in the hook. Get him out of there. 
The Seminoles are making Okay, this guy's been lights out this year. Is going to come in as a reliever. Yeah, he's going It's a good time to bring him in. We go lefty lefty right here. Yeah, this pitcher's tough, but okay, here we go. Whoa, 90 Oh my good. 95 on the inside corner. Okay. Got to be ready for this. Man, that is coming. I don't know how fast that was, but it feels fast. Now you can see why this guy ERA is under one. My goodness. We've been going heavy with Fetterman. I guess we'll leave him in there. I, that might drop. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I will. Okay, there we go. I'm not quite sure what I want to do for the bottom of the night. Because we got this lead. Number 30 is up next. Is that going to drop also? Oh, looky there. Look at that. I cannot believe we grinded out this base hits with our left-handed hitters against this against this beast. Man. Number 16 is digging in. Let's, let's, let's add to this here. Okay. Okay. On to first. That's in time All right, that was huge. Freddy Zamora. All of a sudden, we've got a 7-2 to two lead. Things Number have changed in a hurry. I like it. The Hurricanes are making a substitute. Again, with this lead, we've been going heavy on Fetterman in this series. What the heck pitch was that? A ground okay. ball headed for the home. I don't know what happened there. I was, the okay. Has another base hit, and there's nobody out. Why? Got one. He could pull. Hits it down to third. Oh my goodness! I gotta quit doing that. I tend to do that. I want to go third to second with the runner on, but it becomes late, and then it's late to first. Now we're in a we are in a mess here. Okay. Okay, we got to get there, get there, get there, get there. All right, there we go. One out. That's what we needed. Let's go ahead and get out of this jam. I know we've got five run lead, but if they go yard, I just don't. I just don't want to lose this game. Breaking ball at the knees caught the outside corner. The there we go. And makes the play for the out. All right, just one more out. Let's do this. Let's go. And this guy's been crushing me all series. Coach is on his way out to the mat. He needs I want to get Bonanza. Oh, he's a little more ready, but that's okay. We got to get him the in there. Hurricanes are making a substitution. We got to go lefty lefty here. We gotta get someone ready just in case. Nice, there we go. That's how we started. First pitch strike. Such a huge pitch in baseball. Okay, there we go. That's what we needed, Spencer. That's a way to close out this game. 7-2. to two. We got that win. We got that sweep. We're moving on. We're getting very close to the end of the regular season. Only a few more games left. We grinded that one out. Freddy Zamora with that grand slam. That was huge. We go up to Tallahassee and get that three-game sweep. A little dicey at times. But so many guys came up clutch. Starting pitching was great once again. It makes all the difference in the world when your starting pitching is good. I've noticed that when I start the other guys, it's a little bit different. Not going to lie. But here we go. Looking at the box score, those five RBIs by Zamora. Two by Velarde. Tie the game at two. That was big at the time. It was a slow start for us. No runs in the first six innings, and then we got it going. I 
Albert just had that one hit, but man, he had a really good series. If we play him again, we definitely will make sure we're ready for him. Let's look at our pitchers. Palmquist and Kaiser getting close to under four. I want to do that as soon as possible. There we go. We got that win. That's exactly what we needed. Check out InsideTheU.com. All coverage of the Miami Hurricanes. Just want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.